Okay, so I managed to find my file which had my hammer in it from my old summative or my my summative. So I'm gonna drag it. Actually, whoops. Drag it. Hit import. Got my USB here. I'm gonna take the hammer. Import the FBX file. Add a skeletal mesh. No skeleton. There's no animations. Create new materials. Import textures. Import. Okay. So, I also made a folder for my hammer. First off, you need to increase its size by... Actually, I don't think you need to. Here, so... Next, we're going to... Go to our blueprints. We're going to add a blueprint class. This is for our hammer. Add actor. Call this... BP hammer. Open that. And in here, we're going to add a skeletal mesh. This will be our hammer. Gonna add that. So this is very small, so you can increase it. This might be way too big or way too small. Not sure. After that, you're going to add a box collision. Shrink that. Make it the right size. You can make it uh, any size you want. So if his swing is less, or if it's not very good, you can change that. Uh, so Something like that should be good. My hammer isn't exactly even, but that's fine. Hit compile. And now, what next? Close this. We're going to go to our Sentinel viewport. And now we're going to add a child actor. This will be our hammer. So, child actor class. <coughs> child actor class. It's going to be our hammer blueprint. Got that. And parent socket. Let's have that be left hand. And if your idle stance is very erratic, you can click top left up here, and you can uncheck real time, so you can put it at, in his hand. So that looks good enough. Go back to real time. Now you can see it's stuck in his hand there. So I just realized now that my my Sentinel's attack animation may not work with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a different one. I'm just going to go here. Be back in a second. <laughs> 